What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and this video is to catch you up to speed on Tesla's new Model X codenamed Raven. If you are in the community and you follow Tesla's product line, you probably already know Tesla introduced a new Model S and X with improved range and ride quality. Well, the other day, my friend Aaron, big shout out to Aaron, he took delivery of the long range performance Model X. Prior to this, he had, or I guess technically he still has, a 75D Model X, and I thought it would be a really insightful video to take the two, the 75D and the Long Range Performance Model X, and compare the two to see exactly what they changed in this new Model X. So let's go ahead and dive into that. One of the first things that you notice with this vehicle when you step inside of it is that Tesla no longer uses that brushed nickel look around the 17 inch touch screen. Now it's matte black. In fact, they also took that matte black material and replaced the, the chrome look around the HVAC vents as well as the trim around the door handle. When you, when you go to shut the door, uh, that is also matte black too. I actually really like it. I think it's a very nice touch, a nice little subtle update that sort of refreshes the interior just a little bit. One of the other things that you notice, especially when you're on the road and at highway speeds, Tesla has significantly improved the cabin noise. So it just feels a lot more quiet, especially coming from my 2013 Model S, which has coil suspension. But I had a chance to ride in both the 75D of Aaron's as well as this new long range performance. And even between the two of those, you can anecdotally and audibly hear the difference between the two and this it just sounds a lot more quiet in fact in the uh, 2017 75d you can hear a little bit of the whistling probably some of that air passing some of the windows or the falcon wing doors or something like that with this new one you do not hear that anymore and it's not just the in cabin audible sound it also equates to less vibration between the 75d and this long range performance raven when i use the app vibe sensor to measure the vibrations in meters per square inch squared you can see that there's less vibration on the top and bottom end and when you average the x y and Z vibrations, you can really clearly see that this new suspension is making a significant improvement in ride quality while you're driving. Here's something that I was just completely blown away by, and it's the efficiency of this new X. This new X has a 100 kilowatt hour pack. The original X has a 75 kilowatt hour pack. However, the new X with the larger battery, even though it's about 300 pounds heavier, was 6% more efficient. So it used 6% less energy over the course of the time that we drove it, which was about 14 miles. Now the caveat of course is that it, that is a very small sample set, 14 miles, but it at least gives you this really interesting glimpse into the efficiency of the motors which they updated. Tesla swapped out the induction motor in the front of the Model X with a permanent magnet motor and therefore makes the entire car more efficient. When you get outside and, and look underneath the, the wheel wells of the vehicle, you can actually tell visually that the suspension and the dampers are, are a different design. It's a brand new design. In fact, we, we looked at both and, and compared them, and there is this additional piece to the new version of the Model X that does not exist, or at least is not visible in the old one. And so my guess is this redesign is contributing towards that lack of interior cabin road noise and 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 the the smoothness of the ride and speaking of the suspension Tesla has redesigned how the software works with the suspension. So how it used to be is that you could manually raise and lower the vehicle based on five settings, very low, low, standard, high, and very high. Now the car makes the adjustment 
all by itself based on the road that you're driving as well as how fast you're driving. And when I witnessed this, I only noticed that it adjusted the height from low to standard once getting off the highway after a couple of minutes. When I reached out to Eli from My Tesla Adventure, who also has a brand new Model X Raven, he said that he's put his vehicle through the ringers and it seems to be like it does both adjust the suspension based on how fast you're going, as well as the type of road you're traveling on. According to the suspension screen, and has three new settings, always, never, and standard. Always will keep ride height at low, never will keep ride height at standard, and standard will allow suspension to pivot between standard and low to quote, balance ride comfort and energy use. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with some of these updates that Tesla made. I, I think it's just spectacular that they were able to improve the range of these vehicles just by swapping out the front motor as well as improving that suspension and making it a little bit more adaptive and intelligent. If Tesla can make this sort of range and performance improvement just based off of those things, it will be remarkable what happens when Tesla starts to implement the Maxwell technology as well as any other improvements that they do make. I wanna send a special shout out to Aaron. Thanks so much for your time yesterday and donating your vehicles to, quote, science. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and attention and I'll catch everyone on the next video.